Hello! This tutorial covers some of the most basic steps that are required to get Traffic Inspector operational. It will show you how to use Traffic Inspector to provide Internet access for your home or office network. Click the Start button and navigate to the Traffic Inspector folder in the old program's menu. Locate the Administration Console shortcut and click on it. The first time you launch the Administration Console, you will be prompted with a dialog allowing you to select the server to connect to. Leave the server field blank to connect to the local instance of the Traffic Inspector server. The startup process may take some time, so please be patient. Every time you launch the Administration Console, the program warns you of the unresolved configuration issues. These are advanced configuration options and are not covered in this tutorial. For more information, please refer to the help file or the support section of our website. For now, click the Continue button to proceed to the main page of the program. Click the Configuration Wizard icon to launch the Configuration Wizard. Traffic Inspector supports two operation modes, the Gateway mode and the Sniffer mode. Under the Gateway mode, Traffic Inspector is deployed at the edge of your home or office network and has at least two network interfaces. The internal interface is connected to the internal network, while the external interface is typically connected to the Internet. When used as a gateway, Traffic Inspector makes use of the Windows implementation of the Network Address Translation Mechanism and processes all the traffic that flows into and out of your internal network. Unlike the gateway mode, the sniffer mode requires Traffic Inspector to only have one network interface that is connected to the internal network. A managed Ethernet switch with the port mirroring capability is used to redirect network traffic to the Traffic Inspector server. For now, select the gateway operation mode by checking the appropriate radio button and click on the next button a couple of times. The Windows Network Address Translation Service tab is used to select the service that provides the Network Address Translation functionality. Generally on Windows, this is either the Internet Connection Sharing Service or the Routing and Remote Access Service. Since Windows 7 only features the former, select the Network Address Translation as provided by ICS, Automatic Configuration Option. Click on the Next button a couple of times and then click the Continue button to continue the configuration process. The next two dialogs allow to configure some of the Traffic Inspector and Windows functionality. Since we are only interested in the initial Traffic Inspector configuration, we can safely ignore them for now. On the Internal Interfaces tab, select Network Interfaces that are connected to your home or office network. On the External Interfaces tab, select Network Interfaces that are connected to the Internet. The Interface Network Address Translation Mode tab allows to configure public and private modes for your external and internal interfaces respectively. Make appropriate selections, click the Next button twice, and wait while the new settings are being applied. In case Internet Connection Sharing is enabled, your internal network interface will be automatically set to use IP address 192.168.137.1. The warning below informs that the IP address of the internal network interface has been automatically changed. If required, you can always change the IP address of the internal network interface of the server. However, please note that changing the address will prevent the Internet Connection Share in DHCP server from operating. Traffic Inspector is an identity-based UTM solution. Because of this, a user must generally have a user account to access the Internet. In order to create a user account, launch the Administration Console, locate the User Management Console tree node, 
and navigate to the Users node. Right-click on the right pane area and select the New User Context Menu item to start the New User Wizard. On the Authorization Mode tab, specify the IP address of the user host. Finally, on the Access Mode tab, select the Unlimited Radio button to grant unlimited access to the Internet. Now, let's follow the basic steps that are required to configure the hosts on your internal network. First, log on to the selected host. Click the Start button and then click Control Panel. Under Network and Share in Center, click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click the connection that you want to configure and then click Properties. Double-click on the Internet Protocol version 4 list item to open the property window. Networking settings may be acquired automatically or configured manually. For automatic configuration using DHCP, select the Obtain an IP address automatically and Obtain DNS server address automatically radio buttons. For manual configuration, select the Use the following IP address radio button and then specify the required IP address and subnet mask. Make sure to sign the IP address from the same range that was used when configuring the internal interface of the Traffic Inspector server. Also, an IP address assigned to each computer on the internal network must be unique. Specify the IP address of the Traffic Inspector server in the default gateway box and preferred DNS server box. Finally, launch a browser and access a web resource to verify your configuration. This completes the process of the initial Traffic Inspector configuration. We have successfully configured the Traffic Inspector server and the user host to allow your user to access the Internet. Thanks for watching.